Klingman. I work as head of product at Unium. In today's webinar, we will go through Unium together with HubSpot and show you a live integration with a live demo. This is the agenda for today. Initially, we'll have some overview where we go through the main benefits of this integration and the scope of it. After that, I will go into a live demonstration and in the end, a summary with some integration highlights. The purpose of this setup is to create a best of breed setup where we utilize HubSpot CRM processes and Unium subscription management capabilities. That means that we can use HubSpot CRM with the advanced subscription offerings that Unium supports, which includes different kind of charge types, pricing models, terms, renewal terms, and so forth. This will make sure that customer data is in sync between the platforms, which means that the customers are up to date in the subscription platform from HubSpot. It will also ensure that all HubSpot users can access live subscription data on your customers in HubSpot. And this will enable a streamlined workflow where you will work with deals in HubSpot and create quotes uh, with the integrated Unium connector. Next step is to go into the demo. In the demo, I will start by setting the integration up from scratch by connecting the platforms together. I will in HubSpot create a deal, create a quote, and take that to the process to an active subscription. I will show you how we synchronize customer data between the platforms and how your HubSpot users can access data in HubSpot. Let's start from the beginning then. Unium Connector is available in the HubSpot Marketplace. So I open the HubSpot App Marketplace and I can find Unium here. On this page, you can find some information about the integration, videos, screenshots, and some technical information. The first step would be to click Install App. I cannot do that because that's already been done in this setup, but that would be the first step. The second step is to connect your HubSpot environment to your specific Unium account. To do that, I will open your my Unium account. This is a demo account that I have access to. I will go into Settings, Integrations, and HubSpot. To start the connection process, I click Get Started. Here we have some information about the process. I say I'm ready to connect, clicking Connect. If your user in HubSpot has access to multiple accounts, you will see a list of your HubSpot accounts here. I have that for my development and testing purposes. In this case, I want to take this test HubSpot account and connect to Union. Succeeded here, and I can see the settings page for the integration. Here I can directly synchronize my customers in HubSpot to Unium. I can synchronize additional properties from Unium to HubSpot for the integration to work. The, the purpose of this is to add a couple of properties in HubSpot for legal entity, for VAT number and such. These are fields that are not standard properties in HubSpot. There is a possibility to map custom fields that would be additional fields apart from the standard mapping that Unium is pre-populating. In this case, I have a custom field in HubSpot called category that I want to map when I have a deal in HubSpot and create a quote in Unium. There's also a specific setting if you want to maintain your customer master data in Unium and not in HubSpot then you only want to synchronize customers the first time from HubSpot and not the consecutive updates. That's the purpose of this setting here. So now I have a Unium environment with an active HubSpot integration and the systems are tied together. I move back into HubSpot then to start the demo. I will start with a company create a new company in HubSpot. 
normally in HubSpot, you may start with a contact, work with a contact, create a company and a deal. In this case, I will start here with a company. We can call this one Webinar Testing Co. I can already now add some information, like the city if I have it. I can add uh, whatever information I have. If you have a multiple legal entity set up in Unium, you will set here what legal entity this company is related to. Obviously, if you have only one legal entity selling only from one company code, you don't need to set this manually for each company. In this case, I also add the country. So now I've created a new standard company in HubSpot. You can see on your top right hand here, we have a Unium widget on the company. Right now, it's not very interesting because this company is not something we have any subscriptions or anything on. But we will look at this a little bit later in the demo. Next step for me would be to create a deal. So I'm a bit further in my sales process in HubSpot and ready to make a proposal. Then I create a deal. So this is a standard HubSpot deal. I can add whatever information needed for my sales process in HubSpot. Again, I can set the legal entity for this deal here if I want. And create the deal. Again, this is a standard HubSpot deal. No real changes from a standard deal uh, configuration. What I can see on the top right hand side here is a Unium quote widget that's being implemented when you activate the integration. Here I have a chance of creating a quote from Unium in this specific deal to this specific company. If I already had a quote, I would see it here. In this case, it says no quotes are available at this point. And I have a direct link to create a new quote. So if I do that, I will be logged into my Unium environment. And in the background, the company I've been working on, Webinar Testing Co., has been created as a prospect in Unium at this point. I'm also at the screen of creating a new quote. And this quote is linked to this specific HubSpot deal. And I have a direct link back to the deal if needed. The quote is pre-populated with some standard information based on the setup I have in Unium. This is about the dates, starting of the subscription, the initial terms, renewal terms, the notice period for the customer. If I like, obviously I can adjust this for my proposal. The second step would be also to add the line items, the products to the quote. Here you have access to all your subscription products in Union. And they can obviously be customized if you have a negotiated deal and want to make a specific offer to this customer. So when I add the product to the quote, it's pre-populated with the standard pricing and the standard terms. And I can here update, uh, edit that easily. In Union, we support multiple charge types. We support one-off charges, recurring fees, and a couple of types of variable fees, often uh, called usage fees. We support multiple pricing models, everything from flat fees, quantity based fees and volume and tiered pricing. Volume and tiered pricing would be if you have different pricing based on what kind of quantity is purchased by the customer. We support multiple pricing periods, multiple billing periods, as well as discounting. So let's say in this case, I want to offer 15 user licenses, give 10% discounts, it's 180 euros per month, build per, uh, annually in advance. Obviously I can also add additional products to the quote here. So here I have a, I have a standard Unium quote that has all the power needed for making good subscription quoting. And this automatically updates HubSpot with the information. So if I go back to HubSpot, refresh my deal, 
I can see we have an amount, a deal amount, and we have a quote in Unium linked to this deal. I can see what initial term we offer, the total contract value, and the status of this quote in Unium. I can open the Unium quote with a direct link here. Later in the process, your customer, <laughs> your prospect customer will likely sign this quote and become a customer. You can have different versions of the quote and work with the deal in HubSpot, obviously putting in different stages. But in the end, this will then be, uh, you will probably like to send a proposal, a formal proposal uh, or order form or a contract. And in Unium, you can then create these kind of documents on the quote using templating. We use a word, uh, system for designing the templates. You can customize that on your own. So these can be an order form, proposals, contracts, depending on your processes. These can have both information from the quote as well as standard texts and terms like this. And you also have the possibility to download this PDF or in Word format. You can send it by email and you can also send it for e-signing directly from Union. If the customer moves forward and signs this document, if it's by e-signing, you will have an automatic process where it converts to an order automatically. If the signing of the customer is outside of the e in integrated e-signing, you will need to tell Unium that this quote has now been signed and this quote will be converted to an order. An order in this case is a new subscription on the customer. So this action will convert the quote to an order and it will also convert the account, the webinar testing code, from prospect to customer. And HubSpot will also be updated with the deal amount. So this is pretty cool. We have a signed quote. We have an order. Depending on your processes, you have this step with a draft mode of the order where the finance team or an order admin team can review the order and activate it. If you have a deal of a significant size, you likely want to get the first invoice out immediately. So with a simple mouse click here, I can create the invoice for the first year directly. So now an invoice from April 2022 to March 2023 has been created and tax has been automatically calculated based on the country I had on my customer. And just like quote templating, obviously you can design your invoice templates directly in Union. You can also use any of the out of the box ERP connectors that Union offers from Microsoft Dynamics to NetSuite and to other regional ERP systems. So to summarize a little bit, I created a company, I created a deal, both of them in HubSpot. I also created a quote. I created a quote document, a proposal or a contract. I said this was signed and converted to an order. And with a few mouse clicks, I created the subscription and I sent the invoice for the first year in a fully integrated process between HubSpot and Union. So now if I would go back to HubSpot again, shift focus a bit here. If I would open my company card, the webinar testing code that I recently created, I can see that this widget now, the Unium account widget, has a link to the customer in Unium. I can see the number created there. I can see when we last build this customer and I can see some uh, KPIs on this. If I want to see even more details, I can open the order invoices section where I can see the specific invoices sent, the one I just recently sent to the customer. I can see the contracts we have, what we call orders in Unium, 
you can see when it's so the term the current term is from 1st of april until end of march next year i can see the products and the timing for those kind of products as well as the up-to-date monthly recurring revenue in my base currency i mentioned before that we also synchronize more data from hubspot than just the deals we can make sure that you can manage your customer data directly in HubSpot. So we have these additional fields here. VAT number, not a standard field in HubSpot. And these are then synced automatically and will update the company, the account in Union. I can either wait a couple of minutes for the automatic sync to be executed, or I can manually trigger an update here directly in the HubSpot settings. So if I want, I can go into the account, look at, I think it was account 68. And I can see that my new data is here from HubSpot. So to summarize a little bit what we have been looking at, we have seen we can use HubSpot, CRM processes, companies, deals. We can create advanced subscription quotes in Union with different pricing models, charge types, terms, more information that's than HubSpot is natively supporting on quotes and line items and have an integrated process for this. All HubSpot users can access this data with the union widgets on the customers or on the deals. And we make sure that customer data is in sync between these platforms. With this, I'd like to thank you for attending this demo webinar. If you want more information, you can find that on union.com please reach out if you want more information on Union platform and the integration with HubSpot. Thank you very much.